Hi, I'm Joe Ashlar and I'm a professional musician in New Orleans. Uh, I got here uh, in 2007. I started traveling here regularly in 2006, right after Katrina. A lot of musicians were still not in New Orleans, so I got to be part of the, the rebuilding of the New Orleans music scene after Katrina. And after two or three trips here, I decided this is where I want to live. And I went back to Connecticut, packed the van with anything I could fit, <laughs> drove down, and the rest is history. Oh man, it was incredible. Uh, one of the reasons I live in this city is there's music, there's so much music. So I was playing, I could play three gigs in a day sometimes. If I was in town, I'd be playing three gigs in a day. Not necessarily every day, but I could. You know, at some point I had to kind of pace it out, but I mean, all different styles of music, jazz, funk, blues, rock, covers, solo piano, private parties, uh, and then also I spent a lot of time on the road as well. Cancellations rolled in very slowly at first. This was before I think most of us had realized what a big deal this was going to be. Um, I got a couple sporadic cancellations because I do a lot of private events, weddings and parties and things like that and those are generally some higher paying gigs as well to help pay the bills and I lost a few key gigs that I was counting on for my budget in March and uh, at, those got canceled. From there just the floodgates opened to the cancellations and I was just, what am I going to do? How am I going to deal with this? How are we going to deal with this? It very quickly went from how am I going to deal with this to how are we going to deal with this when I realized this was going to affect everyone. It wasn't personal. No matter what, music is going to keep going. That we're going to find a way. Whether it's playing on the porch, playing on the balcony, playing on the sidewalk. I've played at Tipitina's on their sidewalk. They, had to, they started a Tipitina's TV and a record club. So, I mean, it's really uh, gotten everyone to dig deep and find creative solutions. At some point, I had the idea, uh, why, not, why not perform on the balcony of a restaurant? You know, I'm a germaphobe, so I wasn't comfortable necessarily doing anything where people could get too close to me. But I thought, well, a balcony might be cool because I can play and people can come listen in person but keep their distance from one another on the street. Uh, and that was where... I started to feel a little taste of what it was like to be myself again. But I saw recently that they decided to set up a permitting system for live music and it, that, it's just such a slap in the face to everyone and like, okay, we're not going to help you and now we're going to make it harder for you to do what you've come up with doing on your own to make a living and we want to take a cut of that. I think that's in the process of being changed or it is changed at this point but that was one of those things that I saw and I was like really? You want to you uh, kind of extort the musicians who are you know musicians and the hospitality workers and one of the industries that's been hardest hit of all <laughs> and, and that's where you want to try to get blood from a stone? <laughs> I see it getting bad for a lot of people and I, I worry about you know how many more clubs are going to close for good. The citizens of New Orleans have, have done their part and I've seen them continue to do their part to support live music and I think that the city needs to recognize that, to recognize what an amazing thing exists here. It's, it's nowhere else that I know of in this, to the same level that it is here and that needs to be appreciated and recognized by whatever powers that be. That's what makes this place great. Give us that chance and the understanding that, you know, the, the music community uh, in the city, uh, we've been doing this for a long time. We know what we're doing. We know how to do this safely. Don't add more red tape for us. Try to, try to clear a path. Try to say, remember that one of the biggest values of this city is its music its, and its culture and its hospitality industry. You know, that, that is a huge part of why people come to New Orleans who aren't from here. They want to eat, they want to drink, they want to dance and listen to music.